Chaotic moments this afternoon for first responders and police along the Little Papio Creek. A call for a rescue board and a rope for a hit and run suspect trapped with no escape route. Oh. A rope rescue out of the Little Papio Creek. A man on the run caught on the embankment. And all of a sudden, uh, the fire engines were going by. Ron Olson saw it happen near 78th and Cass when he walked out of 24 hour fitness. People were following him with cell phones and he jumped in and tried to swim away. And the police got here in time and stopped him. Police said it started when the driver of this maroon car crashed into a house at 85th and Nicholas. The wreck shook up Ruth Gable House, who was inside washing dishes. I heard a horrible thump came to my front door and there was this maroon colored car up next to my stoop. When Ruth went outside, she said she didn't see anyone in the car. It was very scary. I was very thankful that he hit where he did instead of my living room. Police said after the suspect hit Ruth's home, he got out of the car and ran about a mile then jumped into the Little Papio Creek to hide from witnesses and police. This is a very dangerous creek. You should not, you should not get, get in it because it'll suck you under. So I don't know what he was thinking. OPD cruisers and first responders swarmed the embankment and cuffed the suspect. They pulled him out on a rescue board and took him to the hospital. He was handcuffed down there. He wasn't going to get away. Police said alcohol is involved in this incident. No word yet on the suspect's condition. No other injuries were reported.